Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys my review of the LG G Watch, which is one of Android Wear's first devices. And so let's talk about specs really quick. The LG G Watch has a 400 milliamp battery, which is notably better than the 300 to 320 battery on the Motorola 360, a 1.65 inch screen that is 280 by 280 pixels, four gigabytes of internal memory, 512 megabytes of RAM. This is also IP67 certified, and they have changeable straps, and there are white and black versions, and all of this is going to run you for about $170, and it was actually $230 when it was first released. Um, now it's come down in price, and so it's available for $170 in multiple locations. And so before we get too far in the review, let's take a quick tour of the watch. On the front, you just have the watch face itself, you have the screen, and then you have a slightly thick bezel, and then on the back, all you have is the battery connectors, a reset button, uh, but there's no actual buttons you can actually press on the watch. And then on one of the sides, you have the microphone. Then you also have the rubber watch band, which is interchangeable. And so the LG G Watch was actually the first Android Wear device that I used. I got it before I got the Motorola 360. And when I got it, I thought, you know, hey, this is okay in terms of how comfortable it is. And it's pretty cool. You know, it can sync to my phone, give me all these notifications, the square screens, you know, not bad. It has a bezel, you know, no big deal. Um, but after going to the Motorola 360, using that, and then coming back here to review this, it's just kind of like, it almost feels like a toy. And I, I know it's, you know, it's not a toy, obviously. I mean, it works, it still works well, but the quality of materials being used and the look and the feel is on a whole different level lower than the Motorola 360. And so looks aside, how does the watch actually work? Well, Android Wear is obviously much more home on a square screen at the time being. Uh, nothing's getting cut off like it did on a circular screen. And it just seems to work very well with just the square screen and apps, more apps work with a square screen. And on the LG G Watch, I think you have a little bit better selection of watch faces. You have a couple more watch faces than you do on the Moto 360. And I do like some of the watch faces on the LG G Watch and I wish I could get them on the Moto 360. Um, but overall, I think Android Wear works better on the square screen. The battery on the LG G Watch is much better than it is on the Moto 360. You're taking a 400 milliamp battery on here, comparing it to a 300 to 320 milliamp battery on the Moto 360, and it might not sound like a lot, you know, 80 to 100 more milliamps, but it actually is a pretty big deal because I can have the always on screen on, always on screen on. Um, it's called always on on the LG G Watch called ambient mode on the Moto 360, I'm not sure why. Uh, but if you have the screen on all the time, I go to bed with 40% battery. Uh, with the Moto 360, I'd be going to bed with 4% battery if it didn't die before that. And so with always on screen off, I can get easily 60 to 70% battery when I go to bed. Uh, the battery on this is a lot better. It's, it makes it stand out in that way uh, much higher than the Moto 360. And the processor is also a little bit better. Uh, Mo Moto 360, Android Wear doesn't lag on this device at all really that I've seen. Um, if you do a lot of things and start clicking on a bunch of stuff, yes, it's going to lag a little bit if you start opening up a bunch of apps. But just navigating the menu is very smooth. I really didn't see any stuttering at all. On the Moto 360, there is a little bit uh, stuttering, but an update that actually just got released and I got today helped that a little bit. But the processor is better, a little bit more efficient on here, and the battery power to back it up makes the internals of the LG G Watch a bit better than the Moto 360. And speaking of battery, we also have a charger for the Moto 360, and it's not really wireless. It's, it's wireless, there's no wires actually plugging in here, but there are connectors on the back of this watch, and you can only use your watch with the charger that it comes with. You can't use it with other wireless chargers, which is kind of a downer, uh, because it'd be nice if it was Qi compatible and you could use it with any other Qi charger that you have, but it has a propri proprietary charger that you have to use with it, and it actually magnetically sticks to the back of the watch, that way it's not gonna fall off by accident, which is kind of nice, um, but it'd be nice to see if it had a wireless capability that it let it use other third-party chargers as well. The LG G Watch does not have a heart rate monitor built into it, but it does have a pedometer and it works like all the other pedometers work. You swing your arm, it counts it as walking, and so it's not gonna be super accurate, but it's gonna be accurate enough if you just wanna measure in general how much you're moving throughout the day. And so would I suggest the LG G Watch for somebody who's looking for an Android Wear device? Um, it kind of depends because are you looking more for better internals or are you looking more for the outwards and appearance? If you're looking more at the appearance, I would suggest the Moto 360 because it has better materials it's made out of and it just looks more like a regular watch. If you want something that's going to have a better battery, a little bit faster processor, I would suggest the LG G Watch. 
Um, with the LG G Watch, though, you have to remember you have to deal with a square screen, and if that doesn't bug you, that's not a big deal. Um, but a slightly thick bezel um, compared to other smartwatches. Um, but if that stuff doesn't bother you at all and you just want a better battery for a smartwatch, then the LG G Watch is definitely the way to go. And for only $170, bucks, um, it's a pretty good deal. Um, that's a pretty wide price gap between $170 and $250. And if you're saying, hey, I want an Android Wear device, but I can't toss out $250 bucks for the Moto 360, the LG G Watch isn't a bad choice. Um, it just doesn't look like a top of the line watch and maybe that's okay with you. And if it is, you know, by all means, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below where you can actually buy it. But as for me, I think I'm gonna stick with the Moto 360. I like the way it looks and feels and I can live with the battery. It's not a deal breaker for me. I get easy, plenty of battery use out of it because I don't use ambient mode on, um, but that's me. Let me know what you guys think. If you, you, do you use the LG G Watch? Have you used it? Have you tried both? What do you like better? And let me know if you're thinking about picking it up all down in the comment section below. Also remember to leave the video a like and subscribe and check out all my social links that are also in the description below. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.